Hello and welcome to the State of the Fleet Industry, a weekly video series produced by Automotive Fleet Magazine. I'm Mike Antich, editor of Automotive Fleet, and today I'd like to examine what's occurring in the fleet industry for the week of October 17th, 2022. And for this week's report, I want to discuss the epidemic of catalytic converter thefts that is occurring among fleets around the country. But more importantly, I want to use this video to discuss the importance of protecting your employee drivers whose company vehicles may be the target of catalytic converter thieves. And why am I advocating this? Because more and more of these catalytic converter thefts are turning violent. And on at least three occasions, the vehicle owners were killed, murdered, while the crime was in progress. Just 13 days ago, on October 4th, a man was shot and killed at the scene of a catalytic converter theft in Oakland, California. And this wasn't the first person murdered by thieves looking to steal a catalytic converter. Earlier this year, on March 31, in Houston, Texas, an off-duty police officer, after shopping with his wife, returned to their truck where they encountered three men in the process of stealing the vehicle's catalytic converter. Gunfire erupted, the police officer was hit, and he died later in the hospital. Likewise, on December 1 in Dallas, a man standing on the third floor balcony of his condominium was shot and killed after he yelled at people below who were attempting to steal his car's catalytic converter. And it's a miracle that more people have not been killed because plenty of innocent people have been shot during the commission of a catalytic converter theft. So here's a rundown of people who were shot attempting to stop thieves from stealing their catalytic converters in just the past week. This is from October 5th to October 12th. So 12 days ago, on October 5th in Hollywood, California, two people were trying to steal the catalytic converter of a vehicle, and they were confronted by the owner of the car. He startled the thieves. They jumped in their car and drove off, but then they circled around and returned in a few minutes and promptly shot up the car owner's home. On October 8th, a man was shot in Hendrico, Virginia, after confronting someone attempting to steal the catalytic converter from his car. And four days later, on October 12th, a homeowner in Castro Valley, California, was shot when he confronted four people trying to steal the catalytic converter from his vehicle. In fact, I did a Google search of people shot by thieves attempting to steal their catalytic converters. In just this year alone, October, uh, calendar year 2022, I counted 38 victims, and this was probably an underestimate. They all survived, but they were shot nonetheless and could have easily been killed if the bullet struck another part of their body. Go to YouTube, and you'll find videos showing victims encountering criminals who then, who when confronted, pulled a gun on the vehicle owner and started shooting. And in one case, there's video of this criminal actually chasing the owners after the fact and firing their gun, his gun at them. I mean, this is insane. Catalytic converter thefts have gotten dangerously out of control, and your drivers need to be cautioned to avoid confronting these criminals. As a fleet manager, the most important aspect of your job is helping to keep your drivers safe while they're driving their company vehicles, but it also includes keeping them safe from situations such as these which impact their company vehicle. If you haven't done so, it is important to instruct your drivers not to confront thieves who are attempting to steal the catalytic converters from their fleet vehicles, and instead to play it safe, keep their distance, and instead immediately call 911. In addition, you need to educate your employee drivers on how to make their vehicles less attractive to thieves, because in reality, for the most part, Catalytic converter thefts are typically crimes of opportunity. And all too often, it's your employee driver who creates that opportunity that makes their company vehicle a tempting target. These employees may park company vehicles in their dark driveway or nearby their home on a street that may not be well lit. These are targets of opportunity that criminals are just driving around looking for. Fleet managers need to reassess their fleet policies and communicate to drivers on how company vehicles should be secured after work hours. You need to alert your drivers of this threat and to have them garage vehicles when possible or to have them park in well-lit areas. Typically, catalytic converters are stolen from high-clearance vehicles such as trucks and SUVs because there's more ground clearance to allow the thief to easily crawl beneath the vehicle. And most, vehicle, most thefts occur late at night when the catalytic converter is most likely cold and where the thief can slip 
under a vehicle and with a battery operated saw that has a metal cutting blade, make two quick cuts, remove the catalytic converter and be gone. Another popular target of catalytic converter thieves are hybrid vehicles such as a Prius. As an ultra low emissions vehicle, hybrids emit fewer toxins, thereby they provide a cleaner, more valuable catalytic converter, which is in higher demand on the black market and commands a higher price. The bottom line is that the theft of catalytic converters results in the immediate downtime of a fleet vehicle since it's illegal to drive a vehicle without a catalytic converter. And it's also extremely dangerous to do so since the hot exhaust blowing from the sawed open exhaust pipes could heat the vehicle's fuel tank, creating a potential fire risk. So in addition, it's very expensive for fleets to replace catalytic converters. It costs anywhere from $965 to $3,700 for parts and labor to install a new replacement catalytic converter. And these costs will vary by make and model of vehicle and whether the vehicle is located in a metro area with high labor rates. But of course, all of this is contingent if you can actually get the replacement catalytic converter in a timely manner because there's a huge backlog of replacement catalytic converters due to today's supply chain constraints and the spike in catalytic converter thefts. In 2021, the last year in which we have a full year of police reports and insurance claims, it shows that there was a 325% increase in catalytic converter thefts over calendar year 2020, and 2020 was the prior record year. According to a report by the National Insurance Crime Bureau, the increase in catalytic converter thefts has been traumatic. In fact, that's been jaw-dropping. So consider this comparison. In 2018, there were 1,298 catalytic converter thefts. Three years later, in 2021, catalytic, catalytic converter thefts jumped to 14,433 incidents, a 325% increase in a single year. And the volume of catalytic converter thefts has not plateaued. In fact, it's getting worse. Year to date, calendar year 2022, more than 50,000 catalytic converters have been stolen from parked vehicles in the U.S. And we still have two more months to go before the year comes to an end. But as we all know, the thieves aren't interested in the catalytic converters themselves. What they want is the precious metals that are within them. And these metals are very expensive, oftentimes more expensive than gold itself. The average catalytic converter contains one to two grams of three precious metals. They're platinum, palladium, and rhodium. Cumulatively, it takes about 14 to 15 stolen catalytic converters just to get one ounce of these metals. But for a thief, it's worth it. These stolen catalytic converters are as good as gold, as I mentioned, actually better. So, for example, last Friday, October 14th, the price of gold was $1,645 per ounce. So remember that price of gold to compare it against the price of the other precious metals that are found within catalytic converters. One precious metal used in catalytic converters is rhodium, whose price as of Friday, October 14th, was $12,763 per ounce. So let me repeat that price to let it sink in. The price of rhodium is $12,763 per ounce. So do the side-by-side -side comparison. Gold is $1,645 per ounce, while rhodium is $12,763 per ounce. And another precious metal used in catalytic converters is palladium, which as of last Friday, October 14th, was $1,928 per ounce. So again, using an ounce-by-ounce -ounce comparison, palladium is actually more valuable than gold. And the third precious metal used in catalytic converters is platinum, which is selling for $898 per ounce as of Friday, October 14th. Altogether, this is why catalytic converters are tempting to thieves. Plus, catalytic converters can be easily sold in the illegal market, which makes another attraction to thieves looking to make quick cash. And often catalytic converter thefts are committed by drug addicts because it's a quick crime and it's a quick way to make quick cash. And again, these are people who may be armed with a gun, who may have a knife, 
and who may not be acting rationally. So let me come back full circle to my message that I communicated to you earlier at the start of this video. You need to stress to your drivers the need to be more vigilant in securing company vehicles, which will help make these vehicles less attractive targets to would-be thieves. But more importantly, you need to communicate to drivers not to impulsively confront these criminals. And when you have salespeople with type A personalities, they may react impulsively without even thinking of the consequences until it's too late. Your company's number one priority must be protecting its employee drivers. So with this as my final observation, I'd like to conclude my State of the Fleet Industry presentation for the week of October 17th, 2022.